Start something? Dutch, Miss O'Shea. Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. But they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah. Dutch! Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah. Of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. 
I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Boy. Could. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side offer. What were you boys doing? You were supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Mike a new, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Man, he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, uh, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drank that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. You got here we problem. are. What are you doing? Do you want one? Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. You'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Mike... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, Dullards! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> <laughs> hey, leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last ten years. I'm bored with being left alone. Listen, buddy, you're a charming fellow, one of the best. <laughs> but me and the kid here, well, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just trying to be friendly. <laughs> oh. Lenny, where are you? Hey, Lenny! Lenny? Lenny! What are you doing, kid? Lenny? Lenny! 
Get away, watch me! Yeah. Whoa, slippery little shit, ain't you? Come on, come on. Get, get him, yeah. Get down, get down. your mouth, mister. Arthur! You alive, Arthur? Uh, I want to die. Where are we? What did we do? I don't know. Oh, me neither. Uh, yeah. You pair degenerates. Uh, There's a fine for drunken violence in this town. You're just lucky no one was killed. Hey, we didn't start a thing. <laughs> yes, you did. Well, I don't remember. 
Either you fools got any money, it's ten dollars and you're free to walk. Sure. Now, get out of here. I don't want to see either you around here no more. So, that was a quiet drink? First one was pretty quiet. <laughs> yeah, the first one was pretty quiet. At least it took your mind off goddamn Mikey. Well, that's certainly true. I gotta get out of here. I'm just gonna have a little sit down and feel sorry for myself. Oh. 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 Civilized this time, Frank. Break's over, boy. Jose? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Well, where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go, then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big, loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But well, I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. This is going to be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? 
No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into town. And maybe stay out of the saloon this time. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. Yeah. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, oh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up started right back drinking again. <laughs> I miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You find a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. <laughs> Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. <laughs> Move it. What did I do? Easy. Easy. Already. Boy. Stables are just up ahead. Hello there. All right. Go sell that big fruit and buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <whistles> yeah. And yeah, what about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show you. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's gonna affect what I can pay. But, your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. Partner, you got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. All right, let's see. So, mm, let's see. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Not bad, Arthur. You happy? I guess we'll see. Oh. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. Ah! <laughs> so. What's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run. 
up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Maybe. But please don't you put that to the test. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. You just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes. And obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. Okay, boy. Yep. Good job. All right. It's getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Well, then you get a set up. Famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me.
You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. Morning, Arthur. You ready? Well, oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous, but we'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned. Bear meat. Hurry up so we can get going. Okay, I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Pack up, Arthur, and let's get after him. Okay, let's go. Okay, boy. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the life? Yeah, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen. If Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's slip by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks. Dung, bones, any sign of him. Well, oh, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him.
tracks. Go into those trees. Wait a minute. Something on the ground here. Half-eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. Something else on the ground, just here. There's shit here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. We lost him? For now. Uh, a little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Arthur? Come on, before we lose them all together. Let's just make a call. Let's split up. Okay. I'll head this way. You head down that track. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. It's nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well, you coming or not? I'm coming with you. <laughs> Let's get going, then.
Let's see if Dutch gives us any crap about disappearing like that. I don't need another we gotta be out there making money speech. We were just out scoping a lead. He doesn't need to know it was a big furry one. All right, sit down. Well, thanks, Arthur. I probably owe you one. Don't worry about it. I need to head out to Emerald Ranch soon, look into something. See you later.